now thinking about what I wanted to say.、Um, <coughs> hello and welcome to our Tokyo trip haul.、Um, by this time, you should be、um, all the vlogs that is about the Tokyo trip should be out already. And I was thinking for the last bit of. Um, Loon. I want to do just the haul so that you see what we got from、uh, the Warner Brothers Studio tour, and also a little bit of Akihabara. But、um, definitely, we spent quite a bit <laughs> in in the studio tour, even though we only had thirty、um, minutes left because the our tour time was like at the. Very last slot, and they close exactly on the time. So we only had half an hour, or maybe a little bit more. They didn't really like push push you out, but like, yeah, they do usher you out. So even with that limited amount of time, we still managed to spend quite a bit. Yeah. So I'm just gonna show you what we. Bought along the way.、Uh, which one do you think was the hardest to get? The hardest to get. You mean like limited to the studio? I get yes. So there are quite a bit、um, of stuff that is limited to only Tokyo's studio. One is the one that Pope wanted. This is the Hungarian Hontail.、Um, Logo slash hoodie、um, design hoodie. So they usually come with this、um, gold sticker that says it's like you know Tokyo、uh, exclusive to the Harry exclusive、um, Wizarding World Harry Potter Tokyo to the official Warner Brothers Studio Tour Tokyo. Yeah, so this is like only in. Tokyo, Tokyo, you can get, get this.、Um, this one doesn't actually have a print on the back; it's only like on the front. But、um, at the bottom, there's like a plastic thingy here. I'll、it's、probably、mean. do more close-up shots. It's a sewn on with this stuff.、Uh, the reason why I like this because you know, I'm a big Monster Hunter fan, and it kind of reminded me of the Raffalos. Yeah. So I got this. And I think、um, only Tokyo had the Hungarian Hontail like at the. Door of the studio. That's why they used the, that as the main. Yeah. yeah. This is also exclusive to、um, Tokyo. Also, it's a T-shirt. So I think this is the the main logo that they use for the <coughs> studio tour. I actually don't know if it's only Tokyo. I haven't checked like other locations. Let let us know if you know. Um, but the back has this, the Hogwarts Express、um, design. I really like it, and then、um, it's gold print. I'm pretty sure this is silk screening, so it's printed on.、Um, yeah, very nice design.、Um, they have all kinds of sizes for for all these too. So.、Um, Mine was. I got an S. Now I got an S too for my hoodie. Yeah,、well. um, it's slightly big for Asian size, I think. But like, if you're American size, you might need like、um, a little bigger. I don't know.、Uh, depends on your body size, of course. This is. <coughs> But yeah, this is one of them. These are yeah. And then the other one that I got, I don't know if this one is、um, limited though. I don't think so. I think this. But is I, th I'm pretty sure this is like very Japanese thing because like at the front it looks like a normal hoodie with the golden snitch, but at the back this is like definitely anime like style of. Art drawing with、um, Harry, Hermione, Ron, Luna, and Draco Malfoy, and also H Hedwig. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks really good.、Um, this one I bought an L because I want to wear it like a dress. Because 
I like my hoodies like really loose, so this is why I got a big, big, big size. Yeah, and this one's got a nice detail to it as well too. Like there's the um, I guess like the school model on the inside oh, of yeah. the collar as well. And there's also a nice detailing on where the the string comes out from. It says um, Hogwarts, Hogwarts. Yeah. Over here. Oh, and I'm also I'm um, wearing Golden's ring over here. This is the ring that she got, which is the Golden Snitch. Yeah. So this is like the accessory part. I need to hide it. It's really nice. That they also sell. <clears throat> this is one of them and then the other ones that I got is one is chocolate frog and then the other is um, the deathly hollows honestly I wasn't thinking much and Pope just did this on the basket and then I just dropped it in <laughs> no, actually I'm the one who tossed those in. yeah so um I really like the the chocolate frog one. I will do a close up, but like, um, <laughs> they they did a very very detailed um, chocolate frog, the box, like all the patterns, and it looked really nice. I like the Deathly Hollows one. It's Deathly really the Hollows is like very classic, like basic stuff too, so mm. it's nice. Me. <clears throat> <clears throat> then. Ah, this is what how the ring came. Like it, it was in the. It was in here. In a package yeah. like that. Um, they have different sizes for the rings, which is nice. Cause usually when you buy rings in these kind of shops, they usually make those kind of rings that is like slightly open, mm -hmm. which breaks very easily. But this one, this one, they actually have sizes. So mine is size seven. So you might wanna have yeah, if you like, if you know your ring size it'll help. Yeah, if you know your ring size then you can just get your ring size. So if um, you're ever planning on getting these, make sure you know your ring sizes before you go in there. But you can see like his hand is like same size as my hand, so like it doesn't really matter mm -hmm. for us. We can still switch around. Switch around. <laughs> yeah. And then this one is the one that Pope wanted. It's a Butterbeer logo. Yeah, this one was impulsively put as well on the cart. We were actually on the way out to pay out. And yeah, then, it was around the cashier area. And I saw it, it, I was like, hmm, that looks really cool. And then, yeah, I just, um, So I along the way when you go to the, like inside the tour, there's a Butterbeer area. So this is the cup that comes with it and it's the same design. Mm. This one you get this if you pay for your drink at the Butterbeer um, bar in there. Yeah. And this one costs about. I think it was thousand. One one thousand one hundred, including the drink. The drink. Though, like you can drink, and then they give you a plastic, hmm. so you can take it home. And there's an area on the side where you can wash the cup first before you put it in the in the bag. So they really thought of everything already. Nice. This is not glass, though. this is like a nice plastic. hard plastic, but it's still really good, really well made. I don't think you can put hot stuff in there though. Uh, yeah, it doesn't specify anything about stuff uh, about... Oh, 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 chotomate. Hottest is 50 degrees. 50 or 60, that's hard to read. 60. Oh, okay. Cold is 0 degrees, so for cold, cold, cold drinks only. Am I imagining it? What? Is that a hole? Is that a hole? No, it's just the the where they cut the plastic. Are you sure? Yeah. Because that's how they print it. Yeah, so no that's hole. the cup. But it was a hole. Then I also got um, a pair of glasses <laughs> from that uh, Luna Lovegood um, where exceptionally ordinary on the on the back it says and then the front is Luna Love Good oh you should try and it out you open it it's the exact replica of oh. what Luna wears when he, she was in the movie it's the one that they have from the trailer right? how, how does it look 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wow, it's trippy though, cause it's different color. <laughs> Same on on each eye. Let me see. It's so trippy. Ah, uh, I'm gonna throw up. Oh wow, yeah. Everything's pretty. It looks like those old retro style, like yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Um, three D glasses. Yeah, definitely. But it's nice. I love how it's so big too. Yeah. Because the the ones that I've seen before, um, even the one they sold in USJ is usually paper form instead of like actual plastic. And I like it that, and it comes with a bag too. Yeah. Exceptionally old. Written this is pretty good. Yeah. As well. This is terrific. Yeah. yeah. I always like to get stuff that is like replica of the movies mm -hmm. <laughs> more than anything. Um, then Pope also got two towels. One is the nine and three quarters. Ah, uh, that's more of yours. Oh, really? Is that design. more? Of it? Yeah. Nine and three quarters. The tag is still there. We haven't really took it off. Yeah. And then. The other one is chocolate. Chocolate bra. Yeah. It's very nice, actually. Nice and soft material. I think they did a collaboration with this um, company that actually makes the towels. Yeah, and it's like bacteria and smell repel, repel. Okay. Kind of thing. Yes. <clears throat> then. I also got <coughs> actually one of these are ashes. That, that's one of the um, souvenir that I got for her. Uh, so one is the one who chooses the wizard, which is the classic line, and the other one is the golden snitch, where it says. I open at the close. So I was planning to give this to Ash. Um, the back has the Harry Potter Studio Tour. Um, this one is gold print, the other one is black print. But it's nice. It is really I nice. I can tell that they use like really high quality paint, like just because I know how to print this kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, this one has a little bit of glitter of gold in it, you see. Oh, really? Can you see it? It sparkles oh, yeah. a little bit. That's nice. Yeah. Alright, what else we got in there, love? Then, we also have... Wands. Um, these are exclusive design collection, which means you can only get in studio tours. Um, if you go to probably this, you can still get like in London or or in Hollywood. Um, but other than that, nowhere else. This is the design of the Sword of Gryffindor. So. I really like how it looks like. Ta -da! Yeah. Um, the best part of this is here. So if you know how the Sword of Gryffindor look like, this is like at the end of the sword. It has a, a ruby and this wand also have that. And I like how long it is and pretty nice swing when you do swish and flick. <laughs> yeah, very nice details, very well carved, and you also can see the Gryffindor um, logo on this wand also. But yeah. Not cheap though. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Okay. I'll help you with that. Boxes are nice too. Like it, um, they 
designed the, the boxes so that you know which one is which. So there's like a gap in between. So just looking by the color, you will know uh, if, if it's house related. Um, the one that is exclusive to Tokyo is the Hedwig wand, but I didn't really like it because the print on it, like Hedwig's eyes looks kind of derp, <laughs> which is bad. Which is unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. Okay, um, then this we bought because, you know, um, they don't give you bags unless it's, you know, you buy one. Um, so I chose the same design uh, for my t shirt. I really like this design. Bags are pretty cheap, like, it's only 650 so. I mean, if you're buying a lot already, why not? Might as well. I think this is the medium size. Um, there's like different sizes for uh, these kind of bags. There's a large one, which is like a lot bigger too, but um, medium is fine for us. Yeah. So the last thing that we got from the tour is this. But this, I actually didn't buy it on in the store. I actually bought it online. When I was um, getting the tickets, you can actually buy the book on the site already and it came in a QR code. So my story at the time was we were at the edge of um, our low battery <laughs> phones and I only have 4% on my phone and I showed the, the nice lady <laughs> that helped me. I was like, I only have 4% left and I can't wait until I line up to get to the cashier to show them my QR code so that they can give me a book. So the lady was nice enough to just like trust me on that and she ran and got me a copy and put a sticker on it and told me that like, you know, this is a proof that you already paid for it so you don't have to um, worry about it at the cashier so they have both um, English version and Japanese version and of course I got the English version so inside it shows you um, everything about the tour in Tokyo um, you know what they have showed you what's inside um, you know how they make stuff and if you didn't manage to take a good picture of some of the stuff, you can actually see it here. And they also like talk about, you know, like a nice clean shot of Diagon Alley. It's something that you just can't get because like there's always people around. So this book is a good thing. If you're going to the tour, then this is a nice purchase too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that's pretty much what we got from um, the tour. And that's 37k. <laughs> not including this book. Oh yeah. And not including the cups for the butter beer too. But um, like of course, as always, like you go to these kind of places is... Uh, products are kind of little overpriced but you know they do have really nice designs so what can we do <laughs> well they did justice on the designs I was too. like shut up and take my money <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just one of those moments when you're in there and the thing is there's still a lot more products to buy around over there like if you're a real harry potter fan and yeah. if you're really into collecting all of these other stuff man you can just go ham with it to be honest if we had the time i would have really um went and get the jersey i really want to get the the um jersey with my own name on it um but I don't know how it works and at the same time we don't have enough time to actually, you know, ask them. So we gave up on that. Mm. But Yeah, it was still a really good experience. That's an excuse to go again. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much it from for the, for the Harry Potter side. Then, this would be mainly Pope's stuff. Oh, oh that's, that's a tough part about the summer so in Japan. It gets hot and then you jump into an air conditioning and then you get sick. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, so then, the second day we went to Akihabara. This is one of our souvenirs because um, we love Max Coffee. Mm. Max Coffee sponsor us, <laughs> but they don't have it in Nagoya, Nagoya which is really annoying because um, you know there's no other alternative, and every time we have to wait until we get back to Tokyo to get one. So we bought two. To drink here. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, they do sell this here as well in Nagoya, but it's really, really hard to find. To Where? I don't know. Like, I think I told you there was this one time that we came across it at supermarket going to Nagoya, and then there's this one. Oh, yeah. But it's it's not the canned one. Yeah, it's, it's the bottle. It really one. depends if you can stumble upon it. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, this one I got in Asakusa though, not, not Akihabara. Yeah. This is a gacha that I got, and it's um the stand of uh, the movie poster. Because <laughs> it's teeny tiny. Yeah, it is really teeny. Dun, 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 dun. It's Voldemort versus Harry. It's the very the classic um face off face off poster. So, I was happy from the gacha. Anyways, <coughs> next, move on. What did you get? Oh, from well, Akihabara. Of course, came into Akihabara. The first thing that we went into was actually the Tamashi Nation shop. And when the time that we got in there, they were actually having a promotion for the 15th anniversary of the Tamashi Nation stores. And this is one of the things that they were um, giving out. So uh, when you get in there, what you gotta do is you gotta take a photo of what they have in there as a, on the exhibits, and you need to be following uh, one or two of their um, Instagram accounts, and then you need to tag them with the hashtag that they need to put in there, and then you need to show it at the the reception there and then they will give you this back and actually it's a really really well made back too it features the image of the latest um, Gundam that we have here which is the Gundam Witch from Mercury this is Gundam Ariel over here and this is how the back actually looks like it's like, like one of those side bags that you can put in here and then you just kind of like strap it or oh, then I have you can strap it around onto your side like that. And it's kind of like those kind of bags. And it's actually really cool. It's pretty well made. Yeah, if you like bought too much stuff mm. in Akihaba, that's a good place to get a yeah, bag. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, <clears throat> highly recommended. And also, I don't, I don't think they like do the promotion elsewhere. Very long though. Yeah. Because um, they just opened the shop. That's why we managed to get one. Yeah, and also if you're a big fan of like um, SHF figure arts, I suggest you guys go in there to see what are the latest products that they are offering. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of the latest offering on the SHF figure arts, so that's actually what I came to Akihabara for, which is to get like a couple of these guys. Um, truth be told, if you're gonna buy these figures, it's better to buy them off elsewhere rather than the Tamashi Nation shop because for one thing, the price over there, because it's like the, one of the first um, shops you'll ever see when you get out of Akihabara Station. So you'll actually have a better chance looking for cheaper prices around if you go and delve around like Akihabara, yeah, which there, is something that we love to do as well. There are like one building that is still near the station, but it's like multiple floors. That's where we went. And usually, if you go around each shop and check it out, you will find cheaper ones, mm -hmm. and they're they're all new as well too. Yeah, 
So the one that we went to is actually the yellow submarine. floor that, that's named um, Yellow Submarine. And the one, the, the figures that I got are the Naruto. The young Naruto. And Sasuke. So this one is actually... Hide your cheap. face so that it focuses. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> so these ones have a lot of really good articulation. And that's actually um on match with my Kakashi, which is actually hidden inside in the room. But... um. Well, we're just here to show you guys what we bought in Tokyo. So these are the two guys that I got in Tokyo. Yeah. Really nice sculpt on these guys. Lots of articulation as mentioned, and a really good um, a, um figure to collect if you're a big fan of Naruto, which I am. So that's why I could resist. <clears throat> but one thing we did talk about for ourselves is that. Now that we live in Japan and we know the websites that sell secondhand stuff, it kind of ruined the experience going to Akihabara. Yeah. Like you go there, usually you will think that they they have the cheapest figurines, but there is a website called Marikari in <laughs> Japan that sells secondhand figurines, and they're cheap. Like we saw the figurines that he wanted for um for the Naruto, the panel. Uh, panel spectacle. Uh. Panel spectacle, spectacle, and in Akihabara they were selling it for like what three thousand per pop. Um, it went up as high as like six thousand to be honest. Yeah. But when you go on the Marikari, it's only uh, the one we bought. It was three thousand seven hundred yen for three for all in three. a set. So you're kind of like, uh, yeah. So ended up now, Akihabara is a place where you see the vicaring and then check it on Marikari to find the, the cheaper, cheaper. Yes, ones. Yes. I mean, we're not discrediting, like, Akihabara is such a good place. Like, there are some figurines you might be able to see there that they don't normally showcase. Mm, like, the rare, rare ones. Like, probably, you will be able to find it mm, there. Exactly. So. But, definitely, we ended up checking Marikari a lot. Because, mm. like, we'll see the figurine and it's like, oh, that looks good. Alright, let's see how much is it on there first. If it's yeah. cheaper here, then we'll buy it, buy it here. So, ended up these two are the ones that we found and it's cheaper, cheaper in Akihabara than, than Mari Kari. Or more like or they, they weren't don't available. Yeah, they yeah. weren't available. Some of them, they don't have it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so like little trick if you live around here yeah. or if you have any friends that live in Japan, yeah, definitely ask them to help you to get the figurines. Instead, yeah. I mean like because sometimes the, the price is like that and plus shipping, it's still cheaper than you getting it from somewhere else. So, yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> Anyways, afterwards. Hmm. Is that everything from Akiba Habala? Yeah, right? Yeah, only about these guys. Then afterwards. <clears throat> I didn't plan this, honestly. I thought like, you know, I had enough of Harry Potter after the day of tour. But ended up, when we head back to Tokyo Station, we found a shop that sells Harry Potters. <laughs> and one thing I forgot to put in the cart when I um, was in the studio tour is this. proper Gryffindor tie. This is the official product <coughs> and the color is just much better than the one that I have which is actually from Amazon and it's like bright red while this is supposed to be like blood red. But um, this is actually a fake tie because from the back you can see it, there's actually zippers. But um, yeah, so next time when I go back, it's actually a good, <laughs> with a good tie. <clears throat> and 
and then at the same time I also got this this I haven't I didn't see in the studio this is only like in the shop that they have um, I think they found an art artist and did a few designs for for them and I really like this because um, I like the this kind of um, drawings where you can only see the back of the character looking far away and this is what I got I don't know if you can see it but um, this is Harry, Ron and Hermione looking into Hogwarts no, do you want me to hold it too? I think I would do close-ups instead because like it's really hard to show it when it's front view yeah. but it's so nice like when you look at it a certain way you can see them like really far away because um, one side they printed the characters the other side they print the the Hogwarts so there's like a little death in between that makes it looks like they're a little far away from the from the castle Mm -hmm. And I like the fact that it's, you know, you're from light blue to nothingness. So there's like a gradient of color. It's really nice. I know we have a lot of cups at home, but I just couldn't pass this. Yeah. I said the same thing too. Like, we already have a lot of cups at home, and then we got like the cups from like the bottom here stuff, and then like the stuff from the US here as well, too. But you know, collectors gonna collect. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so the last few things is <coughs> food. Yeah. Because you know, when you go away from Japan, the for, like either you're at the station or either you're at the airport, anywhere that sell souvenirs they will always have different kinds of um, snacks <laughs> that you can buy as souvenirs for other people so <clears throat> we bought four kinds oh no three kinds of different things and four boxes right two is from Tokyo Banana Tokyo banana is just so good. If you like bananas, especially, this is just something that you can't pass. So that's why we bought a 12 pack for ourselves. <laughs> bye bye diet. <laughs> oh yeah. And then. And then we also bought the. I guess this is a promotional product for them. This is the Tokyo banana creme brulee. This is new, actually. I think this is new because I haven't seen this, or maybe we've just been gone away from Tokyo for a long time. I mean, the last time we went back there was back in 2019, granted. Yeah. And I guess they've been developing like new products, and I guess this is one of them because I have never seen this before. It looks like a like a tart, like an egg tart, but like in the shape of the Tokyo banana. Oh crap! This is gonna expire. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah, but okay then. <laughs> Maybe we should, yeah. Yeah, we'll eat that soon. But mm -hmm. yeah. Um, not sure how this would taste like yet, but um, does this taste like banana? Oh uh, yeah, it does have banana powder and stuff too. So probably it's still banana taste, yes. but yeah. with um, creme brulee stuff. Okay. Um, like definitely, I think one of the things that if you want to if you want to see if it's like really banana banana you have to recognize this katakana banana i will type it on the screen so if you want to find stuff that has banana in it banana. you just need to recognize those kanji it oh. looks like uh yeah. like a two sticks next to each other and then two crosses <laughs> Then, 
the last thing we got is which we already opened because we ate it <laughs> the tray <laughs> this is the sugar butter scent tree um i think it was because of sky tree that's why they made this or or i don't know but um this is the bomb yeah like i love it so much because it's very crunchy and at the same time um you're better at this like i don't know what the what is it called like the the, the milk biscuit feet. Uh, it's, like, it's like a milky like basically when you bite into this it has a really like flaky crusty um texture to it and then on, right in the middle you have the really nice creamy texture like they have that cream in there and <coughs> i can't recommend this enough guys so if you're ever gonna go to tokyo go find these because these are really really good as well yeah too. these are the sugar butter sand tree favorite to find it so really this time we bought a uh, 10 pack i think yeah, yeah, 10 pack. But they have, I think they have 20, 30. They have also. gloves as well? Yeah, they have like big boxes too. So, mm. like, if they normally like sell it in um in even numbers. It's either 8, 4, 8, or 12. Yeah. Or 20 the most. But um, 10 pack is better in a way for me because there's less plastic. Usually with this kind of big boxes, it comes with a lot of plastics that like they're trying to make it pretty, right? Mm -hmm. So I'd rather have this kind that I don't have to, you know, dispose so many plastic. I like, I like, you know, simple. I mean, it's a look good even if you buy this yeah. and give it to somebody. And um, the good thing about these are also they last usually like almost two three months mm -hmm. while Tokyo banana um, it's quick yeah they're, the they're expiry date easy, it's really perishable quick. and actually <laughs> they also have like a a different product from in Tokyo banana that actually like expires much faster so so that's why we didn't get that we just went for these mm -hmm. these are like the classic ones as well too but yeah definitely if you're gonna get these eat it quick um, yeah do you want some yeah, maybe we should eat it because it because this on the recording day that we are recording this right now is gonna expire in the next six or seven six, days. Yes, yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll have to eat this for breakfast. Oh yeah, <laughs> which is perfect because we just ran out of bread. So, but yeah, so that's all of the stuff we bought um, in Tokyo. And we're gonna eat grass the next few weeks. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Until the next purchase. <laughs> and, and we're gonna go to um, Hiroshima because of his uh, Kendama competition too. So, yeah, we're gonna eat grass. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed our haul and our balloon the past month. We'll see you in vlogs, yeah. which also packed with a lot of things because we have a special friend coming soon. Um, but until then, stay healthy. Don't get sick like us. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like we apologize for our current condition because <laughs> we said like it is like summer here is pretty tough. Like it's hot, humid outside, yeah. and you know moving around with kids and stuff. Yeah. This is really hard to recover. But anyways, until then, see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye. Hoi, -bye.